All right, guys, we're going to now look at worksheet D. So find worksheet D. All right. What is the symbol for the coefficient of friction? Because it never fails. You get on a test and you say, Mr. Hall, what goes in this spot of the formula? The symbol is mu. It's this funny looking U or M shape. Is mu, the Greek letter mu. What two things affect friction? Come on, we just said. Thank you. There you go. Force. Normal and surface. And the surface includes surface area as well as surface type. Okay, because you could have a 10 pound object that's spread out over a large area, which would have different friction than a 10 pound object that's very dense or smushed together. So, surface area and surface type. Explain how kinetic friction and static friction are different. That's just a definition. Static is, there you go. Since y'all didn't move, I assumed your answer was not moving. And kinetic? Since y'all didn't move, I assumed you meant the opposite of non-moving or kinetic. Static or kinetic friction? Static. Static. static is always a little bit greater. Right? It takes just a little extra force to get the object moving. Once it's moving, keep it moving. By the way, you're going to move furniture around in your house. You have these little things. What are they called? You put under furniture. Come on, people. Somebody's got a word somewhere. You learned something once in your life. Tori, you ever moved any furniture? Okay and I wouldn't get somebody else to do it for you. Come on, you move some furniture, you put these. Okay, well, there you go, you put these slides under. We call them slides, furniture slides. What's the diff what does a furniture slide do? Because it doesn't make the furniture way less. It changes the surface. It doesn't make the furniture way less, but it sure changes the amount of friction. Do you have slides that are different for carpet? And wood floors, if you got any of those, wood floors look like maybe this really thick felt. But the ones for carpet are just basically a piece of plastic. Right? Different types of surfaces uh, have different coefficients. What force opposes the applied force? Friction. See how long I'm going to stare at you and wait for you to answer. A 25 kilogram chair initially at rest on a horizontal so floor requires 165 newtons of horizontal force to set it in motion. Once the chair is in motion, 127 newtons keep it moving. So one of these forces sets it in motion, one of these forces keeps it moving. Find the coefficient of static friction. Is static moving or non moving? Non moving. So, which force is the correct force to use in this formula? The force of 165 or the force of 127? 165, because it was at rest, and then the 165 is what just started it to move. So, force of friction. What is the force of friction in this case? It's the force required to make it move. Okay, so 165. Why did you use the 165, coach? Because that's the force that made it start moving. That's the static friction force. What does that equal? Mu times force normal. Gosh, what's force normal? Force normal is, all right, so we've got to decide. Is this on a horizontal surface or is this on an incline? Horizontal. horizontal. So on a horizontal surface, force normal equals the weight. What is weight? Weight equals mass times gravity. So mass. Be careful on this, right? Mass 
is the kilogram. So weight equals 25 times 9.81. Makes it, did you get something on that, somebody? Yeah. 245.3. That's a Newton. That is our fourth normal. satisfied with that? Running out of room? So, 165 equals mu times 245.3. Solve for mu. Divide. Divide both sides by 245. Mu equals point something or other. Some decimal is equal to two things, or excuse me, dependent on two things. The surface area and surface height, that is called the coefficient of friction given by symbol mu. The other thing it's dependent on is force normal, which is dependent on the weight and dependent on a lot of scenarios. So you can be able to solve A and B, so forth. At this time, I want you to try to finish those uh, problems. 